Hello everyone, I am Arun Chulkar. Today in Properties of Determinant Part 4, we will discuss some more problem of determinants. Example 1. Expand using properties of determinants. Determinant of a plus b plus c minus a minus b minus a a plus b plus c minus c minus b minus c and a plus b plus c. This is a determinant of a symmetric matrix where dynamic elements are equal. So first we use c1 equals to c1 plus c3 and c2 replaced by c2 plus c3. So the third column will remain same. In the first column we will get a plus c minus a plus c a plus c and using operation c2 equal to c2 plus c3 we will get in second column minus of a plus b a plus b and a plus b. First we take common a plus c from the first column and a plus b from the second column and now in the first column we will make 100 using operation r2 replaced by r2 plus r1 and r3 replaced by r3 minus r1. So first row remains same. In the second row we will get 0, 0 minus of b plus c. Third row 0, 2, a plus 2b plus c. Now expand along first row and we will get a plus c, a plus b multiply by twice of b plus c. Answer is twice of a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. Next example, expand using properties of determinant, determinant of minus 2a, a plus b, a plus c, a plus b minus 2b, b plus c, a plus c, b plus c and minus 2c. It is a determinant of a symmetric matrix in which diagonal elements are unequal. So first we use c1 replaced by c1 plus c3 and c2 replaced by c2 plus c3. There is no change in the third column. In the first column we will get c minus a, a plus 2b plus c and a minus c. In second column we will get 2a plus b plus c, c minus b and b minus c. Now we will use operation r1 replaced by r1 plus r3 and r2 replaced by r2 plus r3. There is no change in the third row. In the first row we will get 0 twice of a plus b and a minus c. In the second row we will get twice of a plus b 0 and b minus c. Now we will explain along first row and we will get Now take common twice of a plus b and the remaining part is 4 times of a plus b into c plus a minus c into b minus c which is present twice. So twice of a minus c, b minus c. Again take 2 common and we will get 4 times of a plus b into twice of ac plus twice of bc plus ab minus ac minus bc plus c square. And after simplification and after making factors we will get 4 times of a plus b, b plus c into c plus a. Next example, expand using properties of determinants. Determinant of 0, a minus b, b minus c, b minus a is 0, c minus a, c minus b, a minus c and 0. It is a determinant of skew symmetric matrix. Let delta equals to the whole determinant. Take minus common from C1, C2 and C3. And we will get delta equals to minus 1 is to power minus 3. And we know that transpose of determinants is equals to determinant. So take transpose of the determinant and we will get delta equals to minus delta. So twice of delta equals to 0. So the value delta is 0. Next example. Prove that determinants of a plus b, b plus c, c plus a, x plus y, y plus z, z plus x, p plus q, q plus r and r plus p. 
equals to twice of determinants of a, b, c, x, y, z, p, q, and r. First, we take left hand side. We know that when we break a determinant into two determinants, the two columns remain same and we always break a third column. Here, we are going to break first column. In the first column, we have a plus b, x plus y, and p plus q. So when we divide into two determinants, in the first determinant we will get axp, in the second we will get byq and the remaining two columns will remain same in both the determinants. Now we will break first determinant and here we will break third column. So the first two columns remain same and in the third column we have c plus a, z plus x and r plus p. So c, z are in the first determinant and axp in the second determinant. Similarly, in the second determinant, we will break second column. The first and the third column will remain same. And when we break second column, we will get b, y, q in the first one and c, z are in the second one. Second determinant equal to zero because c1 equals to c3 and again third determinant equal to 0 because c1 equals to c2. Now break second column in the first determinant and we get b, y, q and c, z, i and now break third column in the second determinant and we will get c, z, r and a, x, p. Second and the third determinants equal to 0. In Four determinant replace C1 by C3 and get take minus power when C1 interchange by C3 and again in the second one interchange C2 by C3 when we change C2 by C3 this become positive and the column 2 replaced by column 3 and the answer is twice of determinants of ABC XYZ PQR which equals to right hand side hence proof. Next example, explain using properties of determinants, determinants of sin alpha, sin beta, sin gamma, cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma and the third column is cos alpha plus delta, cos beta plus delta and cos gamma plus delta. The first and the second column is remain same. In the third column we will use formula cos a plus b. Cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So we'll use the formula in the first, second, and third place. Now we will break this whole determinant into two determinants, where first and the second column remain same in both the determinants. Now we we'll break the third column, in which we we'll take cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma, and we we'll take cos delta common. In the second determinant, we we'll write sin alpha, sin beta, and sin gamma and we take minus sin delta common. First determinant equal to 0 because c2 equal to c3 and the second determinant also equal to 0 because c1 equal to c3. So the value determinants equals to 0. Last example. Prove that determinants of 1 plus a square minus b square 2ab minus 2b 2ab 1 minus a square plus b square 2a 2b minus 2a 1 minus a square minus b square equals to 1 plus a square plus b square whole cube. First, we will use operation c1 replaced by c1 minus b times of c3 and c2 replaced by c2 plus a times of c3. So, the first column will get 1 plus a square plus b square 0 2b minus b plus a square b plus b cube. In the second column we we'll get 0, 1 plus a square plus b square minus 2a plus a minus a cube minus a b square and the third column will remain same. And when we simplify this determinant, we will get in the first column 1 plus a square plus b square 0, take b common 1 plus a square plus b square. In second column we we'll get 0, 1 plus a square plus b square now we will take minus a common and we will get 1 plus a square plus b square and the third column will remain same. Now take 1 plus a square plus b square from the 
common from the first column and again from the second column and we will get after simplification or you can see expanding along the first row we will get 1 minus a square minus b square plus 2a square plus 2b square and after simplification the answer is 1 plus a square plus b square whole cube.